Hi everyone, Linda Israel here. It's 12.30 on Thursday, August the 8th. And welcome. I'm so glad to have y'all here. Thank you for being here. I'm doing great. It's been hot. We had some rain this morning here, so it cooled off just a little bit. I was a little worried because I thought we might have some thunderstorms because the power went out, came back on. I was like, no, don't do it today. <laughs> You know, I'm thankful for y'all being here. I greatly appreciate you watching, giving me a thumbs up, sharing this video if you think others will have some fun playing along with us. And remember, if you're watching this as a replay, just below, click on the gear and you can change the speed. Julie from Australia said, I sound really funny when you speed it up. <laughs> um, let's see, if you have a question, put it in all caps. If I don't see it, I'm sorry. Just ask again. Robin is not with me today. She's my usually my official note taker, so I don't have her today to help me out. So if you would please just ask again. I'm sorry if I don't see your question. If it is a question you have regarding an order or a product or a service from my shop, please go to lindaisrael.com and click on the contact me at the top and send me a message there and I will get back to you. Um, what else? You earn junk bucks here. Hey, Angelica, she's here. Yay. Um, if you have... Um, uh, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> my thought got lonely and left. Um, if you are here today, you are earning junk bucks. And you're probably going, what are junk bucks? I don't understand what this is. Well, junk bucks are a virtual currency, if you will, that you accumulate while watching and while you donate and play the in-chat game. So if you will check your bucks by typing exclamation point bucks, when you get to 2,000 junk bucks, you can get your award for a $10 off coupon to my store. And I think I have sent everybody's coupon code that deserves one. I do have a raffle right now, so enter the raffle by typing exclamation. Okay, I hope I'm back. Are we there? <laughs> I'm refreshing. I don't know if you can hear or see me. Hopefully it's working again. Okay. Are we back? Can y'all see me? Can y'all hear me? Let me know. Tell me I'm back. You are here, Barb says. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> oh my goodness. The power just went out. <laughs> And then when it goes out, it takes the internet too. So then I have to wait for the internet to come up. So sorry about that. Hello. <laughs> All right. Y'all enter the raffle. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Tammy and Angelica and Carrie Ann and Mary and Bonnie. And for the love of paper and ink, which is Candia and Bonnie and Barb. Let's see who else. Mary. Thank y'all for being here. Yay. <laughs> Hey, Jamie. <laughs> I'm sorry, Barb. <laughs> I don't see any donations. I don't know if it went through. I can check one place. Let me see if I get that screen. Refresh. I see a $5 donation. I don't know who it was from, but I do see that I have a $5 donation. I am going to have a couple of journals. Um, Actually, we'll just do one. Let's do one unless y'all get over there. So, yay, I'm back. <clears throat> All right, let's do this one. So, I've got this little journal that I made. And it is a smaller journal, I think. Okay, you got... I didn't see your donation either, Christy. Sorry, I didn't see it. Let me, let me refresh it and see if it goes through. It doesn't really tell me... Who donated on this one screen since I lost power? Let me see something else. Yes. Okay, Christy, I see a donation from you for $5 that came through a few minutes ago. That's the only one I see at the moment, okay? So thank you, thank you, thank you for your donation. All right, so let me go back to the main screen. Okay, so $5 is what we've got so far. I do have a little journal here. And so it is a 
So that was you, Christy. Thank you for your donation. Okay, so this was a six and a quarter by five inch journal that I made. I made this a while back. It's got a calico collage. Thank you, Barb, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's got um, a, a watercolor paper is the cover with the calico collage image on it. And then here's just inside the pocket. This is one of the calico collage um, sweet elegance, I believe. Little pieces, some die cut shapes, a little envelope uh, pocket type thing, um, little card stock pockets in it. So I'm just looking for $30 today. If y'all donate $30, I'll raffle this off at the end to the lucky winner. So it's got lots of little things. That's just a little booklet that I made just using a folded piece of paper. I forget I did that. There's a lot There's a lot of good stuff in here. I haven't die cut shapes in a while and I need to do that. That's something that I'll probably spend some time doing is die cutting some shapes. So I just thought I'd flip through this really quick. Do know that you can enter the free raffle right now. If you make a donation, you also are eligible for the digital download that I offer at my shop. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And you also get a discount on orders from my shop, excluding the uh, subscription boxes and t-shirts. So that's available. And all you need to do is just go to my website and create a user account. And then send me a message through the contact me telling me what your YouTube username is and the email address you use on my website. And I'll get you added to the YouTube uh, donators membership on my website. So anyhow, this is the little journal. Hey, Norella. Yeah, I love the Sweet Elegance kit. It's such a pretty kit. So I thought I would just kind of flip through this really fast. This is just rubber stamps that I put on a card. This is really some old stuff that I did a while back. But I thought it would be a good journal to give away today. Hey, Giovanna. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So glad you're here, Nancy. Okay, so um, I wanted to share really fast. I got distracted because we had a power outage here this morning. It went out really early this morning and it came back on and then... It went out right as I started the live stream, so it's a little annoying. <clears throat> oh, yay! That's awesome, Barb. She got those giant uh, uh, paper clips. That's awesome. Your, so it shows in your email that the donation went through. Okay, that's great, Carrie Ann. Thanks for telling me. Thank you for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Norella has a new kit. It's called Autumn Breeze. I believe it's not in her shop yet. It's going to be there on Saturday. And so I thought I would show it to you. It has 12 images that you get. You get four fussy cut pages and eight pages that could be the journal cover and journal and or pages or cover this is the image that i chose for the cover and i decided to put that on the inside of the cover and then these are some of the eight of the journal pages so that's the repeat of the same image this is one of the images as well it's a great fall kit lots of beautiful color i love this page because it reminds me of my dauber page you know when i do the paint dauber so that'll be fun to kind of create some mixed media elements i love the little fox that she's put in there there's the owl and butterfly and then we've got this one says falling for autumn oh thank you deborah for your donation thank you thank you um, this page I love because it's got the pumpkin on it and sunflower. So I know that um, Robin loves sunflower, so she would love this little kit. That's that page that I put on the inside cover. It is beautiful, isn't it, Mary? Love it. And it has a squirrel! Exactly, it has a squirrel! <laughs> she, Norella needs to put more squirrels and stuff. There's even a little squirrel here, a little fox there falling for autumn. She's got some fussy cut corner pieces. And then here we go, another squirrel. Squirrel! <laughs> and uh, one of my other internet friends, she does a live stream in the mornings, and she goes down the rabbit hole. <laughs> oh, thank you, Angelica. Thank you so much. I'm glad you saw it. Thank you. Um, and uh, we apparently need to have a squirrel image in rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> and then here are some journaling cards as well and then this has got a couple like an envelope and a little pocket and then I made a stencil 
Uh, Sherry asked me to make a maple leaf stencil. So that's what it looks like mopping up. That's what it looks like. Ah, let me get it separated. Going through the stencil. And then there's the actual stencil design. I probably have it backwards. Oh, which way does it go? Oh, here we go. So there's the stencil design. And then she asked me to make a oak leaf. So that was a maple leaf. And here's the oak leaf. And that's what it looks like when it's mopped up. So that'll be something that I'll be working on. Um, yeah, I just got it, Sherry. There's your, is that what you wanted? Does that look good? Is that good? I hope you like it. <laughs> Canadian maple leaf, Barb says. <laughs> Cause she's a Canuck, <laughs> as they say. So this will be a kit that I'll work on. Um, not next Monday, but a week from Monday, I'll be making this kit. Thank you, Carrie Ann. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I was getting it all printed out so it's ready to go. All right, let me let me move some stuff out of the way. And we're gonna do some um, we're gonna do some mixed media play today. We're gonna play with some paint and some paper and just kind of play around with it. Thank you so much, Polly. Thank you, Tina. You like the stencil? Thanks, Regina. I just made them yesterday. Henry cut them for me and brought them home last night. And I just started playing with them today. So I haven't even listed them in my shop. But they'll be in my shop uh, probably tomorrow if I don't get it in there today. And thank you. Thank you for the suggestion, Sherry. Um, is that If that's what you wanted, great. And if you're looking for stencil designs, if it's something I can either draw myself or if I can find a free domain image that I can pull in and manipulate, I'll make a stencil for you. Um, if you have a request to have a stencil made and you have the artwork ready to go, it needs to be a PNG file dot png if you have that and you want a stencil made i can do that for you it just has to be you know ready to go so i don't have to alter it if you will and i'll do it for like 11.99 plus shipping so it's a great way that if you want a stencil you have the artwork ready to go i will do it for you if you're an artist and you want to be able to sell your stencils to somebody else message me and we can work out a plan for you so that you can sell the stencils you can buy them from me wholesale all right thank you janice for your donation thank you thank you i hope to have them either tonight or tomorrow sherry when i get them in this in the shop because like i said i just got it done and I just haven't had a chance to photograph the um, stencil design so I can have a sample because a lot of people will say, I need a sample. I need to know what it looks like. All right. So huh, I've been working on the So Artsy kit and trying to make some embellishments. I've got some tutorials coming for that. Did y'all see the uh, dress form with the lace tutorial that I posted Tuesday. I hope you liked it. I've got a couple more that'll be coming out. Robin's been helping me edit the blog post and then I've been putting the video and photos up there. <clears throat> so let's look at some uh, papers today and do some decorating. I've got some book pages. Um, I find that I just buy books at like the Dollar Tree. I also use Bible pages. I had somebody Basically, they were like worried about my using a Bible page. You don't have to use a Bible page. It is my personal preference. I feel that the Word of God is sacred, but the book, the paper that it's printed on is not sacred. It's the Word that is sacred. And so I am, I thank you, Giovanna. I know you watch all my videos. <laughs> thank you, Sherry. Uh, thank you, Mary. Um, so if you don't want to use it, it, it feels wrong to use it, don't. Do what you feel comfortable with. There's no rules. So if you don't want to do it, that's your prerogative, and I'm okay with that. And as the same, you should be okay with me using whatever I want in my office, if that makes sense. Thank you, Polly, for your donation. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you for your $9.99 donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is let's do some mixed media stuff with some acrylic paint. I'm just going to use some craft paint. This is cream colored and I've got some gift cards as a hotel key. I'm going to put a little bit of paint in my palette here. Apparently I've got, I've got goopy stuff in it because it was not coming out. Grab a paper towel. Sometimes it gets goopy. 
so I try to wipe it out. Yeah, so now maybe the paint will come out. You getting a little bit better, Barb? Well, you know, find a book that's falling apart. You know, if I, we go to secondhand shops, thrift stores, I find the Dollar Tree is pretty easy to find cheap books because they're a dollar. I don't feel so bad for tearing them up because um, for whatever reason, they're at the Dollar Tree. Uh, maybe they weren't going to get much of them read in the, the first place because they may not have been that good. <laughs> Whatever the reason, I don't really care. It doesn't bother me. You may want to be careful. Some books, because of the language involved, if you are really particular about things and what, they're, what they say in the book, that's why I like doing the mixed media over the top of it. You kind of see that there's words. And if you put enough stencil designs. Oh, thank you, Jen, for your donation. Um, you can then uh, kind of cover it up just a little bit and not worry about too much. I just did some ivory paint on there. You never get the app to get off 99 cents. <laughs> yeah, the more you tear it, just, just keep tearing that papers and don't worry about it. I'm going to dry this really fast. Wow, the dollar store is $4. Wow, that's terrible. <clears throat> that's crazy high. For a book, I'm going to tear up. But I guess realistically, if you were to buy scrapbook paper, it's going to be, you know, somewhat costly too. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is some direct to paper type techniques. So I'm getting my, my file folder of stencils out. You have so many books you want to make into journals, you don't know where to start. Well, Jamie, tell me when you say you have journal books you want to make into journals. Are you saying you want to convert the book cover into a journal or that you want to tear some of those pages out and make things. And part of it is just doing it. You know, just grabbing one, making the decision to do it, and just get started. Never a buck anymore. They, they want their money, don't they? Thank you so much, Angelica. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so Angelica, I know you're busy, but can you remind me in about 10 minutes to do the raffle. <laughs> Just say, nudge, 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 raffle time. <laughs> All right, I think, I don't know, I really like this stencil, but I'm trying to decide. Oh, let's do this one. All right, so I've got the, that's the flower tile that I have right here. I've put some, uh, acrylic paint on the page and I think what I want to do next is I've got some tattered angels I've got the kit of uh, what is it called so artsy tattered angels and make a new spot okay so you can go in all right thank you thank you Angelica you can go in and you can take that book and I take an exacto knife or scissors and I just cut out the guts of it, okay? You can then choose to recover this or you can completely cut the center portion out. Aw, thank you so much, Tammy. You're so sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, yeah, spread kindness like confetti. And you can create a new uh, center if you want. I don't normally do that with these, but you can. It is not difficult at all. All right, so I think I'm going to spray this with some Tattered Angels. I've got the Artsy Cherry, and I saw, oh, here's the purple. So I've got So Rockin'. <laughs> Christy says, raffle time, nudge, nudge. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> All right, so then I'm going to put in here a little bit of the purple, and... Let's see. Oh, I should have done another page. Hey, I can probably do that really fast. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Let me, I should have done two pages when I was painting the first one, but I got distracted. All right, so let me coat this one really fast. 
And if I dry it with a heat tool fast, maybe this will stay wet enough. What is the number? Oh, that's how much you... What is the number beside your name? Well, up there on the... Up, 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 up on the top, right below my name, that's how much donations were made. <laughs> yeah, and thank you for your donation. I greatly appreciate it. All right, I'm drying, drying the paper. Yeah, it looks like we got a boss fight. I like that, that cherry, that kind of a, it's kind of a pinky red. It's got a iridescence to it. Kind of a purpley iridescence. Okay, I think, well, that's almost dry. There's still a little bit of shininess. Uh, you tried. <laughs> All right, so let's see if I've got enough on here, still wet, that it'll transfer. All right. Well, that's making a cool, you know, it's partially on there. I love the pastelness of it. And let's look at this one. Oh, isn't that pretty? You like it? And I didn't clean off my stencil. Um, it'll probably transfer again next time. If I want, I could wipe it down. I could use another piece of paper and pick up any excess on it. So I'm just kind of rubbing it with a piece of paper here that I can then coat with paint. <laughs> Junkie Joe's watching you. All right, so there's two pages right there you can kind of see the text i like that it has that iridescence to it it's kind of fun the way it comes together that is the um flower tile flower tile it's one of my favorite stencils i'm going to go ahead and coat some more paper let's do a different color so i've got a pale lavender so i'm going to put that in here Maybe mix a little bit of white with it. And let's coat a page. I like coating the papers with a little bit of paint and then using a stencil on it because you just get a whole different look out of it. And I'm just going to set this aside. I'm going to paint a couple more while I'm at it. <coughs> Thank you so much, Polly. It's a fun stencil. I, I like the way it looks. Okay. I find I if I spend some time just coating papers, it doesn't take as long. I'm all about kind of doing, in a sense, assembly line, if you will. Because it takes time for the paint to dry and there's nothing more annoying than have to keep stopping and waiting for the paint to finish drying. This one's going to be very lavender because there's not much white paint left. Let's do one more. Pick it up, put it down, let it dry. Draw, paper, draw. Okay. Am I doing anything? You're very welcome, Sandra. Thank you, Jamie. I'm trying to see if there's anything I need to uh, respond to. Okay. I'm almost out of paint. I got a little bit left. I may have to add just a little bit more. Dry it! You like the lavender? It's kind of a pretty color. Okay.
All right, so now I'm going to dry it. I've got four sheets of paper, so I can use the different ones. <laughs> you like the lavender? The lavender's really pretty. It's uh, it's actually called hyacinth. I don't know if you can see that. All right, so while we're drying that, what stencil? I like this one. This one's called Woven Boxes. <clears throat> Over here to my side, I've got a cake pan with some water in it so that when I get messy on my stencil, I can just pop my stencil into the water and it'll clean up a little bit better or easier later on. So I'm just going to lay this on top of. This is woven boxes and we've got lavender. I think this kind of a teal, it's called turquoise, would be a pretty color. So I'm going to put a little bit in my palette and then I've got one of these um, sponge daubers that are part of the blending tool I found that if I use this it's easier to apply the paint and I just dip this in water and rinse it out and it cleans right up and I think I want let's do a little bit of a darker teal beside it there's a piece of fuzz so I'm grabbing both colors at the same time and I'm just going to pounce it onto the paper. And so it's going to look like the stencil design that right now is being coated with paint is going to be on top, but it's really underneath. So it's kind of reverse in the way that it comes together. Try to hold it down. Try not to get paint all over me. <laughs> if you don't, you're not playing right. You've got to be getting paint. Get dirty, right? <laughs> I like the way this comes out. Now, if you have a surface that you can, you can take another piece of paper. This is dry enough. Oh, thank you, Christy. You're so welcome. I'm going to try to see if it'll let me mop up. I have to work fast because it'll stick to the stencil. But it should put... Yes, it did. It kind of transferred just a little bit of the design on top. I like it. And then here's what it looks like. Going through the stencil. You put that in the water. And y'all see that? What it looks like? Ooh, fun colors. You like that? It's pastel y. It's light enough that we can draw or write on top of it. If your craft area doesn't look like a tornado hit, did you really craft? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right, I'm going to set this over here. Actually, I gotta move this. I got out my gel plate because I wasn't sure if I was gonna use it, and so it's in my way. So I'm I'm moving it back behind me. All right, so there's two. So let's do another one. All right, so let's pick a different stencil, but we'll do the same color. Skeen, skeen, skeen. Oh, let's do the let's do the diamonds. I like the large diamonds. All right, I'm going to add a little bit more of this darker teal. And then let's pick up both colors. And let's get this started. I like the way it blends together, but not really dark. Kind of get a variation here. Alright. You like that Schwab kit, Christy? It's a beautiful kit. I think Norella did a fabulous job on it. Autumn Breeze. She also said she's going to have an add-on ephemera pack with it as well. So she'll have that all listed in her shop on Saturday, she said. Or she's in the chat. She can she can speak for herself. 
All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put this on top, pick up some of that paint. And then, voila! That's kind of cool, texture. And then let's see what this looks like. It kind of moved on me, but it's okay. It's got texture. Some of this is a little bit straighter because I didn't move the stencil so much. Cool, huh? She's working on the ephemera pack now, she says. All right. All right, I still have some tealy color in there. Since we had a purple background, let's make a teal background. So I'm getting a couple of sheets of paper. I'm using the dauber just to paint the paper. It's got a lot of paint on it. <clears throat> ah! I'll let this dry. Set it over to the side. Dry paper, dry! Trying to get off some of that paint that's in the dauber because it will transfer. I kind of like this color that it's made by mixing them together. Okay, we'll set this aside and we'll do some more. Y'all have fun with the kit, won't you? Oh yeah, I forgot you sent that to your Amish, uh, your Amish friend. I hope they liked it. Nudge, nudge. Okay, we're gonna do the raffle. Enter the raffle for two hundred junk bucks. So I'm trying to help you get closer to getting your two thousand junk bucks. So type exclamation point raffle. All right, thank you, Angelica. I get my note paper out and I'm gonna grab the next prize and get it ready. So I'm cleaning my dauber out just a little bit so it's ready. All right, so where's my notepad and a pen? And we're gonna do this is uh, August. And this is mixed media. All right. Hey, Denise. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. Is everybody in the raffle? Looks like we're getting there. I'm going to check the donation so we kind of know if we're there or not. So we're at... Okay, we have met my $30 donation request so we are going to raffle off the a journal at the end and if you missed it this is what the front looks like of the journal if you want a chance to win this journal just make a donation of any dollar amount all right looks like okay everybody's in the raffle now so let me grab i got a little goodie pack here and try not to set it down in any wet paint all right let's pick a winner and the winner is of the 200 junk box, Jen B. You won 200 junk bucks. All right, so let me put my notepad away. Uh, the next prize is going to be some weird goodies. <laughs> um, it, these are little flat uh, charms that are butterflies. There's 10 of them in there. You get some... Amnidex stain and ink remover. You get some hemp cord. This is like a little triptych thing. It'll open up so you could glue it down onto a journal page and then have the doors pop open. And then these are some label pieces I made out of cardboard and fun foam. So if you want to write up, you could do that. You can make little shakers out of these. So this is just a little goodie pack of things. So I'm going to put... Uh, Goody pack. Congratulations, Jen. So reset that. And we're going to say uh, 
goodie pack. Not back, pack. ACK. All right, so we're going to open that. So that's our next prize. <clears throat> All righty. I'm going to go ahead and use my a little bit of purple paint card and coat a few pieces of paper. I kind of like the way the purple looked in that. Don't slide on me. If you're heavier handed, you can obscure more of the text. So you can kind of see I had a little bit more paint than normal. So don't please. <laughs> Angelica wants those goodies. Uh. All right. I think I want a little bit more teal. Just a tad. Just a tad. Not Ted, but Tad. <laughs> Barb's already entered, Angelica. <laughs> You'll have to bribe them if they win to send it to you, Angelica. <laughs> oh, dear. Painted pages. Some of my favorite colors. They're kind of a tealy color. <laughs> I'm going to do one more, I think. One more. One more in this teal. Because I want to clean out the palette. I had just a small amount of paint left. Scraping every last bit. What's everybody been working on? Of course, I've been doing the so artsy, and I kind of mentioned that at the beginning that I've been making some tutorials, so those will be coming out. <coughs> Monday, we'll be working on the so artsy kit again. So I plan to have a big journal on Monday, I think. I'm trying to get all my stuff ready. Okay. I like it. Alright, I'm going to dry this one. Been running around getting ready for school for the kids. I understand. <laughs> Angelica says, okay, Barb, if I win, I will trade for mop-up pages. <laughs> Deal! Lots of blue. I like blue. It's some of my favorite colors. All right, I think let's grab another stencil. So I've got plenty of this color scheme. I, I guess we're going to put lavender on top. Maybe not. Maybe I'll do a pink. I'm trying to think what color I want to do. That would look good. Let's see here. Been crafting with some ladies. Yeah, making cards. Awesome. Right, following the chat, Angelica, I understand. <laughs> I don't know. I like I like this one. It's called the Open Lattice Retro Lattice 2. Retro Lattice 2. And what color should we use? Should I use a pink or should I use a dark blue? Let's do a pink. So I've got kind of a, a royal fuchsia color. And I've got a paler pink. This one is called vivid pink. Yeah, running around. <laughs> Thank you, Polly. Yeah, I like the light blue hues too. All right. White or silver paint. Yeah, that would look good too. We'll do that on one of them. We'll do some silver paint. So now I've got some pink. So we're going to do pink on top. And see how this turns out. I think I'm going to like it. I'm 
trying to hold that stencil in place. Seeing how this comes together. That's going to look completely different. Just kind of going back over it really quick so that I can grab one and lay it on top and mop up just a little bit. And then lift it. Well, that's kind of cool. You see that kind of grungy looking? Isn't that awesome? <laughs> that dauber. Yeah, I when I started using the dauber, I was like, oh, this makes it so much easier. Ooh, look at that. It's sticking to my page. Isn't that cool? I like it. It's a neat texture. So, I, now I have pink in my palette, and I've got another page, so let's lay that here. Actually, I'm, yeah, we'll lay that there, and I'll lay this beside it. So, let's grab a different stencil, because I'm all about the stencils, you know. You can do layers, you just got to let it dry in between. So if you want a different design over it, you can just let it dry, and then you can add another layer. If you try to add layers while it's still wet, then it'll be harder. I'm going to do the circle stencil next. I've never been to a journal or treat. They are fun, Jamie. They are fun. I am... Um, I have workshops that I do here in Oklahoma. I have people come over to my, uh, we have a, a physical shop here in Oklahoma City, or Yukon, Oklahoma, and uh, my friends will come and we'll hang out and make stuff. Get a couple of stencils out of my folder so it's ready. Yeah, let's, uh, we'll do some mixing up here in just a moment so i'm gonna do the circles on here try to hold it down hold it down man hold it down okay Don't move on me. I'm just I, applying paint. It's just fun. It gets messy. You get different looks. It's a great way to use up your junk mail and old book pages. We can stamp over the top of it. Write on them. I'm going to try to make a few elements to go into the So Artsy journal for Monday. All right, so now I'm going to take this page and lay it on top. And then lift it. So you kind of get that hint. And then this one is going to be a little bit darker because we went through it. You did your thumbs up. Thank you for the thumbs up. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We've already got this stencil design down. I'm going to dry it just a little bit, and then we're going to grab a different stencil and add some more texture to it. Maybe not over the whole thing, just part of it. Maybe I'll end up cutting it up into smaller pieces. And I think the stencil I want to use is right here, and it's the Arrows stencil. Okay, and 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean out my dauber again. So I'm just going to go over here. Let's do this first. It's got lots of paint on the dauber. Because I want to change colors over the other. So it's not the same design. And I think I know what color I want to use. So I'm just going to clean this out really fast. Okay. Okay, I'm laying this over it. I've got a green. I think this green would show up really well. So I'm put a, a little bit, I'm gonna move my palette over here. There we go. So I can put just a little bit of green and pick this up. And let's see, let's kind of go right over here. And maybe in this area. And maybe up here. So you're getting different textures right there. So is that what you're wanting? Kind of adding a little bit of different colors on there. I'm going to clean my dauber off again. kind of it's kind of muddy looking because it had other paint on it all right let's clean this off let's add we need another color here let me see what other stencil I want to use all right oh have the song in your head uh oh <laughs> she's been doing really well on the, those boss fights has or the or is that the ffa you like it you like that okay good you're welcome regina i'm gonna do one more stencil design over it let me see what i find that oh i know what i want i realize what i wanted now tell me what you want what you really really want I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Okay, so this is the X's. This is, I'm behind on getting my stencil club up for August. So this is July stencil club. And I'm going to put it on here. I'm going to do a blue. Put a little bit of blue in here. Get the dauber that I cleaned out. So this one is um, royal blue, it says. It's a new color I picked up. I went to Hobby Lobby a week ago, two weeks ago, I don't remember, I haven't been in a while, and picked it up. So, I'm trying to decide how I want to do this. I think I want to go like this. So you get a little X's right there, and then let's do it over here. Of course, you could keep going. You could put a black blotch. You can do a white blotch. Go over it some more. What do you think? Do you like that? I kind of like it. I think that would be a fun page. I'm going to be scanning this one in. I, I've decided. I'm going to scan that one in. That'll be fun. All right. Now, I'm going to grab a different one. And let's go back to this one. This is the one that, you know, we mopped up with it. So now I'm going to use the X's again on here since I've got it out, got the blue paint, and make a design. Of course, the more paint we put on, the more we're covering up that text. So if you don't like it, just keep applying paint. Oh, I like it. I'm going to put it over here.
Yep. You like it? All right. So I'm going to use my clean off my dauber onto my scrap of paper here. You get some interesting pages just from cleaning the dauber out. <laughs> oh, we got a boss fight. Yes, scan it. No Norella says, I will, I will. Okay, I think I need one more design pattern on here. I've got the um, I've got this little check mark design. These are my prototype stencils, so they're a little rough. <laughs> Alright, let's put it like kind of in the middle here and I think I want this green again so it'll kind of match the other one in the color schemes all right so let's put right about here and then down here I like it. We think. So you're getting variety there. I'm going to go ahead and clean off the stencil. And let's grab a different one. I think this one. This was the diamond one. I think we need to add a little bit more to it. So this is the kind of almost calico is what I called it. So I'm going to go in here and add, let's do it like that. And maybe down here. And then let's go, let's go right about here. We think just kind of adds a little subtleness into it. Chunky Joe's not evil. <laughs> you like the multiple designs? Well, good. I'm glad you like it. Chunky Joe's just telling us all kinds of stuff. <laughs> you like the wonky X stencil? That's part of the July stencil club. And you can get the past month stencil club if you're not already a stencil club member. Just uh, place your order and say, I want whatever month it is that you want in the past. I'm working on the ones for August. I haven't got them cut yet. I've just been designing them. Okay, I think now what I need is that blue that we used and a design on here. So I'm going to grab another stencil. One more stencil! Oh, what I do with them? I laid them down. I only have a few. You know, like the ones this side over here? What design? Ooh, I got this. Oh, we'll do this one. This this one's falling apart because it's a prototype that I made a long time ago. But it's a dragonfly stencil. And I think this will look good. So I'm going to do the blue. In fact, what I'm going to do is this blue, I'm going to add just a touch. Let's do a touch of ivory with it. Let's see what happens here. And then we're going to add and then let's do one kind of going off the page. And let's do one more over here. Alright, before I lift it completely up, I'm just going to look at it. Okay, so those kind of blend in too much. So I'm going to get some more blue. I'm going to add a darker blue because I've added that white. So it muted it down. Come on. It's raining in northern May. It's raining. It rained a little bit here this morning. I'm glad we needed some rain. OK, 
and I think this will be better. This darker blue. That royal blue is a little more purple. And since we already had kind of a pinky purple background, it just blended right in. Now let's look. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Isn't that? Y'all see that? I think I need to put one over here. So let's put one right here. Okay. There we go. Thank you. Cleaning the dauber out. Cleaning the dauber out. All righty. Well, let's make some more pages that I'm not going to can <laughs> so I can make a, a thing with it in a little bit. P.E. Prince Edward Island, Canada. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I did finally get an envelope, Barb, from Prince Edward Island. Do you like it? I hope you like it. I think that'll be a good journal page. It'll, it'll blow it up to an eight and a half by 11. I think that'll be fun to use. So I need, let's find another page here. Okay, this one. Well, good, because then I've picked different stencil designs for each one. This is the So Artsy stencil, so I'm gonna use it. And I'm gonna do that dark blue again. And we'll do it in opposite corners, kind of. Let's go up this way. And then over here. Yay! Okay, I'll dry that. Clean that one off. Red and, you want me to do some red and gold? Yeah, I'd love to come up there. Okay, thank you, Angelica. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Calico. Uh, let's make a thing. All right, we'll make a thing here in just a moment. Let me finish this page. Let me do one more design on there. I like the way that one came out. Let's pick... Uh, doo -doo -doo. I forgot what this one's called. I think it's part of the uh, July Stencil Club. We're we'll doing this t green color. And we'll put it like over here. That's what I like about these stencils that they're clear so I can kind of see through it. It may be hard for y'all to see, but I can kind of see, you know, where I did the blue before and I'm filling in different areas. All right. Oh yeah, that looks cool. All right, let's clean off the dauber. I'm just adding. All right, so if y'all haven't already entered the raffle, please do so. I'm about to draw. Angelica reminded me. Hopefully I don't get squirreled and forget. <laughs> Cleaning the dauber. I like the way that dauber page looks. Isn't that kind of fun? All right, raffle. Hey, Llewellyn. Thank you, Carol. All right, cleaning my dauber. I'll let y'all look at these pages that I've made so far. So there's that one and that one. It's still kind of wet. And then I've got these pages that we made you like those I think those will be great scanned in here's another one be fun love the circle yeah that's just the dauber that's just the dauber and then I like how the circles stencil on that one and the X's so we kind of duplicated some 
patterns on a couple of different ones. Okay. Love them all. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so let's do the next raffle. I'm looking at the screen here. We still have room if you want to have a chance. Thank you so much, Erica. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, uh, we still have room for donations on the journal that we're going to give away. All right, so let's go to the raffle. Hey, Eric, so glad to have you here. Thank you for your donation. Raffle. Everybody enter the raffle. Junkie Joe loves you. Hundred, I eight, got 80 Junk Joes. Love the dauber. It's just simple, huh? All right, so let's do the giveaway and let me pick another prize. Oh, here we go. Okay. Y'all ready? Is everybody entered? Get that gel plate out and play. Hey, Lemon Panda. Welcome, welcome. All right, so everybody entered their apple. All right, so these pages I'm going to save because I'm going to scan them. I'll make something with these. All right, we'll scan those. I'll put this over here. All right. Thank you so much, Angelica. Or, uh, yeah, Angelica. Thank you, uh, Norella. <laughs> Make it happen. Barb only needs 70 more junk bucks. <laughs> Looks like cookies called puzzles I think well I don't know what that is <laughs> no cutting them yet that's right I can't cut them up okay so let's do the giveaway and pick a winner let me get my notepad before I forget for the goodie pack the winner is Angelica won the goodie pack <laughs> Somebody going to hold you to your, your trade? Angelica won the goodie pack. I use them. I don't always save them. Um, what I do is I soak mine. Here's my cake pan. I soak them in the water. I have... You can't tell, but this has got Thieves Cleaner in it. And I will put a little bit of Thieves Cleaner and let it soak. And then I will take it to the sink and gently rub them with my hands. And it usually gets most of the paint off. Maybe not all of it, but most. That's just funny. <laughs> I'm going to scan them, Christy. All right, so the next prize I'm giving away, oh, hope I hope I didn't get paint on it, is a Gina K Designs rubber stamp set. It says, I love you. Friend is another word for love. All you need is love, and it's got little birdies on it. So that'll be our next one. So I'll do giveaway. <laughs> Reset. And we're going to say um, Gina K bird stamp set that's a lot open it up there we go that's our next prize all right so i've got a couple of pages here left so let me use another couple of stencils so that i have enough to uh, do the designs i want to do and i think i'm going to use the tile stencil again and then I'll do, someone said, you said red, and what other color did you want, Christy? You said red. I was trying to remember what you said. Tell me which color you want again, Christy, and I'll get it out, because I, squirrel. <laughs> Let me know what color you want, Christy. I think I'm going to do the green on top of that pink, and it's just going to be bright. That's what I think, anyway. 
Dauber. That'll look cool. Okay. Gold. Okay, she said gold. Was it red and gold? Is that what you wanted, and uh, Christy? It may have been red and gold. I'll have to see if I got my red behind me and get it out. Get it out and use it. All right, I think, sorry, Christy. <laughs> All right, Chris, did you say red and gold? Is that what you wanted? I'm going to lay this on top. All right. It's real faint. Oh, and that's what it looks like on the pink. Clean the stencil. Alright, I'm going to clean my dauber off, grab the red and gold paint, clean it up, clean it up, clean it up. Okay. Trying to see if I'm missing anything. Regina, you're 200 junk bucks away. Keep playing that uh, boss fight. All right, so I'm gonna set this aside. And you said gold, right? So let's see if my gold paint. There's my gold. And here's a red. Red and gold, red and gold. I need to clean my palette out. It's a little dirty at the moment. So I'm going to do that. There's a bunch of paint. That way it'll give me some more weird pages to use. Come on. Cover the whole page. Okay. That's that one. Clean this one off. Red gold. Okay, I got it, Christy. You're rich, Eric. Woohoo! Keep it going. <sighs> okay, so now I got my little palettes cleaned out. I'm going to put red down. I don't know why I squirted it directly onto the paper because I'm weird like that, I guess. So let's do these two pages. Kind of coating it really well. I may go in and add, let me add some, an, another color. Maybe a different shade of red. Kind of get some variation. I don't know why 
I spent all that time cleaning the palette off and then I squirted the paint directly onto the paper. Do I have a red, another red? I thought I had another red out. Okay, let me see. Okay, that was true red, and then I have cherry red. So I'm going to put a little cherry red. Kind of. So you get a little variety. Alright, so I got two sheets of paper that are kind of red in color. Ah. What is she doing? <laughs> Stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I get I get my own mind. All right, so now I'm just kind of dry. I'll dry these red pages. Dry the red pages. Purple. <laughs> uh, this time I have the nonstick craft mat by. Uh, Ranger ink that's underneath me. Sometimes I'll use a brown paper sack underneath. It just kind of depends on my mood <laughs> and what I find in my room. Uh, I'm glad Angelica's back from vacation. She was gone for a while. We missed her. Okay. I really want this dry so that my stencils don't stick to the pages. So I'm going to lift this one up out of the way for a moment. It'll continue to dry. I think this one, it's got a little wet spot right there, so we're going to dry that. You like the red? That's two different shades of red, and although it may be hard for y'all to see it, I can see the variations just a little bit. And I think this one is dry now, so let's pick a stencil. Oh, I know what stencil I want to use. Let me see if I can find it. Where is it? I just saw it a moment ago. I spend most of my time flipping through my stencils. One of these days, I'm going to get organized and put them in little, basically little tabbed folder things. Okay, I just saw that stencil. Where did it go? Oh, I see. I'm walking from the wrong direction. Do, 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 do. Oh, you may have to use that one. Well, poo, I couldn't find it again. That's usually what happens, right? Well, purple and gold, yeah, that would be a good one, too. I really wanted that stencil. I need someone to come organize my stencils. <laughs> Where does it go? I just saw it. I should have pulled it out when I saw it. But no. I think I found it. Yay, I found it. This is the ribbon rose stencil. And I think it would look amazing where you're going to see the red where the stencil is. And then the gold will be around it. So let's get this gold metallic and put that in a somewhat clean palette. I'm going to do this one. Okay. 
So I got my dauber and load it up with gold paint. And I'm just going to go in here and daub I think I'm going to like it. Got a little set of watercolor paint. Oh, fun, Angelica. What you plan to make? You like this one? This is Ribbon Rose. Ribbon rose. So I'm trying to hold it down. Hold it down without putting my fingers in the design. Got messy fingers. Messy fingers. Anybody got big plans for the weekend? I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do other than prepping for Monday. It seems like that's what I do. Henry will say, what are you doing? Prepping for Thursday. What are you doing? Prepping for Monday. What are you doing? Getting the subscription box ready. <laughs> what are you doing? Editing a video. Coming up with content for a video. Okay, y'all ready for the big reveal? You ready? What do you think? You like it? You like it? You like it? Oh, water make, watercolor bookmarks? Awesome. I think I need to do that one more time. What do y'all think? That cart? Oh, paddle boat ride. Awesome. You're just going to do the same thing, Barb? make stuff i think we need to do that one more time because i like how that turns out maybe we'll make a little something with that red i'll make a little something something with this red and gold all right so you could do the opposite you could do the page gold and then do the red on top so then the stencil design will be gold. Ooh, school supply shopping. Woohoo! Thank you, Regina. Thank you, thank you. Uh, uh, okay, let me go down the list. Um, thank you, Carrie Ann. Thank you, Giovanna. Thank you, Deborah and Tamara and Luella and Kathy and Regina and Barbara and Julie and Carol and Eric. <laughs> you like it? So, you know, uh, she was saying purple and gold. This would look beautiful if you did it in purple and gold as well. I think it would look really good if I did um, kind of a taupey brown color in gold, maybe. Maybe a, a darker brown and gold. I think dark brown and gold would be good. I'm almost out of gold paint in my palette, so I'm trying to use it all without adding any more. Alright, so now I'm going to put my stencil in the water. There we go. You like it? You like the red and gold? Fun, huh? I'm going to clean my dauber off. You want that stencil, Angelica? Black and gold. Yeah, black and gold would look good for sure. The two different reds are gorgeous, aren't they? All right, I'm cleaning off my dauber. Let's dry this page, and then let's make a little something. Let's make, um, let me think what I can make really fast.
Let's make a journal card. You like that one even better? It turned out pretty cool. This one's a little bit heavier. That one's lighter. So you can see where I used more gold paint on the first one, and it's a little bit lighter on the second one. The model look is sexy. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I agree. Yeah, it does. It gets a workout, doesn't it? <laughs> Try to get it to dry so I can cut it up. I like it. Okay, so let's do this. Let's move a few things out of the way. I'm going to take this out of the way for a moment. I think this one is still a little damp. All right, so let's um, let's see what I can do here. Let's make a journal card, and try to decide how I wanna how I wanna decorate it. I wonder if this is too. Let's see here. Maybe do a. This is a yellow fussy cut flower that I had in my stash. I may end up doing something else with it. Let's, um, I'm trying to see what kind of paper I can grab. I've got a bunch here. Let's do it on a craft piece. Maybe. I don't know. I may do it on a. I don't want to do it on black. That's a different shade of red. I think I'm going to go with the craft. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up this uh, piece of craft paper and make a couple of little journal cards out of it. Maybe we'll just cut it in four pieces and we'll have four little pieces of paper. And I may not use all of it as a whole covering, but enough of it that I can get a neat design going. Scan it! Angelica says, scan it! <laughs> you don't want me to cut it up? Well, I'll save one of them. I won't, I won't cut up both of them. I'll just cut up this one. I'll save this, the one in my right hand I'll save. And the one in my left hand I'll cut up. <laughs> Alright, I'll put the red one up here. I'll, I'll scan one of those. Alright, we're going to cut up this one though. So... I'm kind of looking at this. Do I want to... How big is this? This is six inches. So if I did a three inch strip... And then we cut this in half. So I'm just folded it in half. I'll line this one up too. Line it up! Okay, so I got some pieces. Let me grab, let's grab this lace stamp. And let me get my acrylic block. And stamp pad. Grab a piece of scrap paper. And I think what I'm going to do is we're going to ink up. This is the one of the Lace Duo images. And we're going to stamp it along one edge. So we get a little bit of that lace coming in. Yeah. Okay, let's do a couple. Let me do it again. Do it again. Is 
Thank you, Angelica, for sharing that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Do I have any new people here today? Is this your first time? I know that uh, Giovanna watches all my videos. <laughs> had, there's paint on here, so we're, this, this card's going to have some character on the back side of it. Let's do one more. Yeah. Is Junkie no, Joe not sharing the wealth? <laughs> <sighs> okay, so now I've got that. Let's put this over here for a moment. I'm trying to decide what kind of design element I want to use. I think I want a piece of black paper. Because if I mat this that might look kind of cool I don't know let's let's do that let's try it so if I go this way that was three inches so if I go three and a quarter that'll give us a little bit of a border here on this one and then measure this out. So let's go not quite five inches. So that'll go on here. You liking it? Just kind of making a little frame. Let's do that again. The more people play, the less you win. It should be pretty equal. Grandma slip lace. That's exactly right. That's what y'all call it. Grandma slip lace. Okay, that's not quite right. Let's go right there. Little pieces. Thank you so much, Deborah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm just flying by the seat of my pants. Or something like that. <laughs> just going for it. I have my ways. Alright, so this one. Kind of center that up. Yeah. Got that one. I'm going to do one more. Because if I don't go ahead and use all the pieces, then it gets stuck in my stash and I don't do anything with them. Alright. <clears throat> okay, so we have those pieces. Yeah. That we're putting on here. Alright, so what else can we put on here that would go with this mess? So... Oh, I know what. I've got a bunch of these. I have some other fussy cut items. Let's see if we can find something that might go. Maybe the fern leaf. The fern leaf might go. That might look kind of cool on here. Maybe. And then, where's my little sayings? I just had those out. I moved them. Here we go. Let's see. I choose joy. What if we did something like that? Purple flower. You like the purple flower? Maybe like this one. Maybe I'll do something wonky. 
Maybe that one will be wonky. And then that'll say be empowered. What do you think? I may need to add some more texture in the background of that one. And I think I need something over here as well. And oh, I've got these. This might look kind of cute on there. Little birdies. You know, yeah, what happened a year ago? <laughs> All right, let's see what else I've got. I've got a blue flower. Maybe. I have this butterflies. Maybe we'll do the... If I do that, and then, um, here we go, live in the moment, and I think I have one that says spread your wings. I thought I did. Life is what you make it. Follow your heart. Follow your heart. Follow your heart. <laughs> Expect great things. Okay. I think I've got some stuffs now. Oh, thank you, Christy, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, I stamped it with black. With black. I stamped it with the, the jet black. With the jet black. Okay, and I think I need something in this void area. And what we're going to do first, I've got the coffee shop. Let's do that. That's I'm going to add another stencil design. Okay. Let's spray this. I have one that's a lace stencil that I love using. So we're going to use that one. And I have coffee shop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two of these and place them in the box. I'm going to take the lace stencil and put it on top. Okay. Got copper, co no, coffee shop, not copper, coffee shop. This is one of the tatter angels I have in my shop now. It looks brown. Well, it's because it's on the craft paper, I think. Okay, thank you, Angelica. It's time for the next raffle. And I think what we're going to do is I'm going to work on some more little journal card type things. And we're going to raffle off the... Um, journal y'all ready for that oh thank you rita for your donation thank you thank you thank you so if you haven't already entered the raffle please do so so that's the coffee the coffee coffee colored and that kind of cool and then now look how that's changed that journal card so it's not so plain and then when we put this on top of it, how it kind of comes in around the edges, okay? All right, so let's do that again. Oh, look at the page that it made. All right, let's do that again on these other two journal cards. All right, so I'm going to do the raffle. Raffle. Yeah, Robin was just had some private things she needed to do today. And I said, you take care of you and thank you for all you do for us. All right, I'm going to do this again. All right, so 
we're going to do the drawing and then anybody that has donated will be able to enter the next raffle you haven't missed it yet carol um this raffle if you'll don't if you'll join the raffle right now i have a rubber stamp set by Jeannie K Designs. That's what I'm raffling off right now. And then we'll go ahead and do start the raffle for the journal. Okay. So if you haven't already, enter the raffle. And then those that donated so far, we have Rita Gibson, Christy Clover, Christy Johnson, Eric Halen, Christy Johnson again, uh, Tamara or T Tamara or Tammy, and Sherry Deskins, Jen B, Polly, Janice Brammer, Deborah Vick, Mary Jones, and Barb Dingwell. They have all donated, and any dollar amount is fine, and you can be in it to win this little journal that I have made. Okay. Thank you so much, Polly. All right. So, is everybody in the raffle? The first the for the uh, rubber stamps. I see people joining in. And Carrie Ann. Sorry, Carrie Ann. Thank you. I forgot. Carrie Ann. All right. Thank you so much, Angelica, for all your help. I greatly appreciate it. Elizabeth got into the raffle. This is the last free raffle. I'll give you just another minute while I spray these. And I guess realistically, I don't have to spray the whole uh, card. I could have just sprayed around the edges. But that's not in my nature. <laughs> Thank you, Janice. And I'll save this. We'll do something with it later. Or it'll become a mop-up page. Did someone say mop-up paper? Alrighty. Set that over there. You love the Glibberman. Thank you, Carrie Ann. It's fun to use, I think. Alright, so now I'm going to go around the edges and distress this. But I'm going to do the drawing first. You're welcome, Luana. You're, thank, you're very welcome, Waylon. Lou Ellen, I can't get my words out. <laughs> All right. Mop up pages. Giveaway. All right, so let's pick the winner for the Gina K Design Stamps. All right, pick a winner. Carrie Blancher, you won. Carol Blancher. I don't know why I said Carrie. Carol Blancher, you won the Gina K, and I believe I have your address, Carol, in my shop, because I think I recognize that name, and we're going to say Gina K, but if I don't, please message me your address so that I can mail you your prize. All right, so I'm going to reset this, and yes, and we're going to do the um, sweet elegance journal j-o-u-r <laughs> hey lisa thank you for your donation open giveaway all right so those that have donated are now eligible to enter the last raffle for the uh, journal that i made and any dollar amount's fine you know even if it's a dollar i don't mind if you want to do twenty dollars that's okay too <laughs> all right so now i'm just going to go around the edges of all the journal cards with the distress ink walnut stain congratulations carol thank you angelica yeah the contact form that angelica just sent if you can contact me there, if I if you're not already a customer in my shop, and then that way I can mail it out to you. All right, do this one. These journal cards are pretty, just like that. What do you think? Wouldn't they be pretty without anything on it? All right, I think. I don't know, you can't really see it that much, but I am going to go ahead and go around the edges of the red pieces. 
where I cut it, you, it's kind of white. So it doesn't need a lot. Okay, we got one here. Okay. Oh, long piece. Yay! You're very welcome. Congratulations. I thought I did. I thought I recognized that last name and that we've talked before. And I apologize if I'm a little scatterbrained. I'm blonde. <laughs> Okay, so I did all those, so let's move those over here. All right, so let's layer these up. So I've got these pieces here. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue those onto the black piece. Thank you, Carrie Ann. I'll save these and we'll I'll raffle them off next week. Got a little too much glue. There. I like that. <clears throat> the red, gold, and black is kind of fun, isn't it? With the the brown, the red, the gold. Let's put that kind of somewhat in the center over to the side so you see more of the lace. My paper's still a little wet. <laughs> Uh-oh, no supper's ready? You better feed him. He won't let you come watch anymore. I think I'm going to put that... I was going to do it differently, but I think I'm going to do it like this. Where it's down just a little bit. I don't know that I want it dead center, but let's see. Or do we want to go all the way to the bottom? I think let's go like that. Could I put a rose die cut on the brown to see how it looks? Oh, you're saying... Are you talking about one of these roses? Is that what you mean, Carrie Ann? Sorry. Oh, thank you so much, Polly. I'm glad you had fun. <laughs> I don't know if that's what you meant. So let me know, Carrie Ann. Sorry if I didn't understand. All right, I'm going to glue down the butterfly, which is a... Actually, it's called white glider, but I painted it kind of a blue-purple color. Okay, that's what you meant? Okay. <laughs> Love the cards. Next week. I'll give them away next week. That's what I'll do. We'll put them in the raffle. I'll put them in my bag, and then I have a prize. All right. Yep, make sure if you've donated that you get in the raffle for the journal. When I finish these little journal cards, then we will draw the winner of the journal. It's kind of crooked. All right, so there's that one. What do you think? I like it. I like it a lot. Another thing I could have done is I could do some gold. I wonder if I have one. Actually, I have a copper pen. Let's see how this looks. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. See if I can keep from messing it up. just went over the edge just a slight amount and you may not be able to see it to kind of give a little bit you know there it goes can you see that copper here go this way I'm using the edge of the paper so that I don't come up too far There, I added that frame. 
And that's just a copper Sharpie or bronze Sharpie. Okay. <laughs> Not raffle. You got a raffle. Okay, so let's do the next one. So let's put this here. Didn't it look good? I thought it did. I thought it's just, you didn't think it would, but it just really pops. All right, let's glue these two together. Okay. Just gluing these together and then we'll put this on top of here. We got 37 seconds before the arena is cleaned up. <laughs> it's probably ready now, Jen, if you wanted to do a boss fight. <clears throat> oh, you got three more seconds. <laughs> the arena has been cleaned up. You can now type boss. <laughs> Oh dear. I'm liking how these are coming together. Now here's the little robins. And I think they would look cute kind of on the bottom here. And we're going to say, live in the moment. I think this one needs some distress ink on the edges. All right. Y'all are entering all these boss fights. Let let y'all win some of my uh, money. There you go. <laughs> all right. I think live in the moment. And we'll put that across the bottom. These are the robins. And I painted them with Tattered Angel's Glimmer Mist. And then I scanned it into my computer and printed it and then fussy cut them out so I could have them for projects like that. You love the card? Thank you, Christy. Okay. What do you think? I can put some gold on or copper around that edge. I'm going to do that now. All right, Regina, have a great night. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you for being here. I'm almost, I'm halfway done with the cards. So what do you think? Adding the copper on the edge. I love the way that gold looks. <clears throat> it won't look the same scanned in, but it'll be cool. I'll still scan that um, other piece in. All right, so now we got this one. So let's glue these together. Eric, Eric, you want a hundred junk bucks. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Uh, whoop, whoop. Good job, Eric. That's amazing. Yay! Candia, you're close. Looks like you need less than 300 junk bucks. That's awesome. You know, didn't it finish it off? Another thing that I could have done was going around this black edge with that copper as well. Because it would stand out. So it, it gives you the appearance that you're using another piece of paper, but you're not if you go around the edge. And I think I'm going to do this. Just kind of showing the little kind of a botanical look. What do you think? You still kind of see the flower. All right. <laughs> I 
think Eric is having a conniption fit. Uh, a little bit of excitement going on. Can't top. <laughs> uh, good job. All right, let's put this across. Lisa's got 960. You're getting there, too. It's a little out of time. All right, so this is the third journaling card. Thank you, Julie. So we'll put that across here. Like that. And then we'll do I Choose Joy. Thank you, Lisa. Okay. We'll put that right here. And then we'll do the copper pin again. Might as well. We started something, right? Okay, so there's that one. All right, we got one more journal card to make, and then we will do the journal raffle. You still have a moment to enter, so if you have an enter, please do so. If you want to make a donation to get entered in, you can do that as well. All right, I think... Do I want that one? I think I want a different one. I think I'm going to put this one on here. <clears throat> yep. All right, let's glue this together. I'll be back live on Monday. We'll be working on the So Artsy kit. Thank you, Julie. You got a minute and 52 seconds for a boss fight. <laughs> Alrighty. Glue this one down. I'm going to put the copper pin down before I glue down the flower because it's sometimes hard to work around a piece if it's really close to the edge. All right, so we got that piece. Oh, thank you, Nicole. Now make sure you enter the raffle. All right, so this one's going to go on here. And then we're going to put, be a difference maker. Move that out of the way. Actually, it looks better on top of the white, doesn't it? So you can see it a little better. All righty. If you want to participate in Linda's Hunger Games, you can donate. <laughs> uh, Nicole, make sure you enter the raffle and thank you so much for your donation. Okay. I want to go this way? Yeah, I'm going to go more that way. Mm -hmm. Got another boss fight. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I actually started the boss fight. <laughs> Y'all go for it. See if you can win. <sighs> All right. Nicole, did you get entered into the raffle? I see you now. Okay. Good job. I think I'm going to put it right here. Alrighty, I'll show you all 
four of the journal cards. Thank you for your journal for my journal. <laughs> Can y'all see those? They kind of blend in, don't they? Let me uh grab a piece of oh here we go. Maybe. I got a piece of scrapbook paper. That way you can see them a little better than brown on brown. You like that? Everybody got 15 junk bucks, except for me, that started the fight. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I got some too. Thank you so much, Julie. All right, y'all ready for me to pick the winner of the journal? Y'all have any questions? Just kind of make sure that y'all have any questions you can ask them. I'm here ready for you. And you know, I'm working on some more tutorials. I'm trying to do as you request on some embellishments and stuff. I didn't make a tutorial on this one, but I'm going to show it to you. <clears throat> I did a kind of a photo tutorial where I took pictures of kind of my steps. So we'll see. The butterfly's your favorite. This is another journal card that I made the other day. And then here's one. That's with that dress form. I now sell that in my shop. And here's another one. And then here's another one. And then this one. You didn't get junk bucks that time? I don't see your name. I'm trying to look. Yes, you did, Sandra L. You got 15 junk bucks. It just didn't come up. Uh, it failed to send because the message was so long, it truncated. But you did. You got 15 junk bucks. Uh. Okay, let's pick. Let's pick. The butterfly. I love the way the butterfly one came out. Alright, where's my pen? And where's my notepad? You like the first, the boho, the first boho one? That one? This is a calico collage image. These are... These are four by six. These are four and a quarter by five and a half. Christy. Yes, you did, Christy. You got 15 junk bucks. Carrie Ann got 15. Sandra L. Sandra Lewis. And Jen B. Tammy. Giovanna. Christy. Nancy. Angelica. And uh, Range all got 15 junk bucks. So there, ha, huh. you just didn't see it. You're very welcome. All right, well, let's pick the winner. The winner of this journal. Do, do, do. You're welcome, Sandra. All right, give away. And pick a winner. Deborah Vick. Congratulations, Deborah. You won this journal. can't write. All right, congratulations. Yay. Whoop, whoop. Thank y'all for being here. Yep, you did. It just didn't show up on your screen because the message was so long from everybody that entered. I'm getting extreme close up. <laughs> You're welcome, Deborah. You're very welcome. <clears throat> and I'll set these cards aside and there'll be a raffle next week. You're very welcome, Carrie Ann. So I hope you can see fun ways to make mixed ma mix media pages and make something with them. This could also be a journal cover, you know, if that were the cover of a journal. That would be pretty too, don't you think? You can just pop that right on. You're very welcome. You're greedy like Angelica. 
<laughs> You're very welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for being here and making my day that much brighter. I love uh, seeing your messages. Y'all are really sweet. Thank you so much for your support and for helping me um, share my art with you. Again, share my videos, share any blog posts, any of that. If you love someone and you love their work, to help them out, share. Share their stuff so other people see it. You know, we appreciate that. Yes, ma'am, I'll add it to your box. <laughs> your very big box. <sighs> You now want red acrylic paint, Julie. You need red and gold. Get you some red and gold. <laughs> Thank you so much, Barbara. You too. Thank you. You're welcome, Angelica. Thank you for your help. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, well, I'm going to get off here. I've got some things I need to work on. And uh, i got to get the stencils added to the shop. Henry's got some things that he wants me to do. So thank you so much. Thank you, Julie. You're very welcome. Thank you for being here. All right, we're going to shut her down. Y'all have a fabulous rest of your day, rest of the week. And we will see you on Monday at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. And again, I am very thankful for all of you. <clears throat> Barb says, have a wicked weekend. <laughs> thank you so much. I did too. It was a lot of fun. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We just shared, uh, Safina, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Bye. Uh, just shared all my social media connectors. Do check out the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group, my By Linda Israel Facebook group, my Facebook page, all that. You have a few stamps in your car. Do you want me to message you to add them to my box after the purchase? You can, uh, Christy, if you want me to add it to your box, just message me and I can send you an invoice for them. And that way you don't get charged additional shipping or you can pay for it. And then when I package up your box, I'll refund the difference, whatever works for you. Okay. You're very welcome. Thank y'all for being here. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you got that, Christy. Have a good one, Eric. Thanks for being here. You're so close. You're getting there. <laughs> You're very welcome, Christy. Bye, everybody. Oh, wait. We can do an FFA again before y'all get off here if you want. Last one. <laughs> Y'all have a fabulous rest of your day, and thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. 